Yo, good morning. Those are some, uh, those are some songs by, uh, actually, I should pull up, I guess I'll send up the YouTube channel, because I think that channel is really cool. It's a newer channel that I've discovered. They only do, like, one upload a year, apparently. Uh, but they just do, like, marimba covers of songs. And it's sick. But the first song was, um... The first song was Megalovania from Undertale. It was a really cool rendition. And the second song was uh, Hornet from Hollow Knight. And there's some other ones, too, on there. They don't do very many uploads, but they're all very cool. But, yeah. Hope... Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Kiro. Hope you guys' mornings are going well so far. Uh, thank you for the 10 bits, Jordan. As usual, I appreciate it so much. I had a good morning. I uh, woke up at around 7 this morning. Chilled in bed for a little bit. And then... Um, <laughs> so I haven't actually showered between yesterday's stream and now. Because lately I've been showering in like the late afternoon. And the late afternoon hasn't happened since last stream and now. So... Like, if I get kind of self-conscious wearing the same clothes on stream and two streams in a row, so I'm, I changed shirts anyway, even though I haven't showered. Um, yeah. Uh, I haven't showered, but, uh, I played Slay the Spot with my brother. He sent me a message at 8 a.m. asking, hey, you want to finish out this run with me? And we did that. That was fun. We did end up winning the run. I like to, I like to think that me and my brother are pretty good at the game at least now so and then yeah just kind of chilled hope you guys had a great night last night obviously not a lot of time has passed since last stream and now but i will do a quick recap anyway so yesterday was real spicy right Woo! yesterday we learned that iris uh is likely just uh crazy not really crazy i guess but she's been believing things because she has a brain tumor oh good morning cat hope your morning's going well and uh yeah uh and that thing with knives at laws and like everything that she said i mean we don't know if it's true it doesn't seem like it's true but it could be but it's pretty implied right now that it is all made up at least from the rate we just did right um and nothing indicated, even in her booth, that not all that was real. So, it seems like it's made up. But anyways, back to the juicy stuff, is that uh, the dead body we found in the cold storage warehouse a few days ago, or like last week or whatever, uh, that looked like Iris, it wasn't actually Iris. That was Itomi and Renju's friend, old friend from high school, Monica EY. Very crazy stuff. They've been keeping it frozen there for 18 years. Why? I don't really know. Kind of weird. Gotta be honest. But we learned that Monica EY was a lover of Sosajima. Obviously, enormous age gap. Um, even at the time, I assume. Like, it would have been 18 years ago. I assume Sosajima was pretty darn old. Seems Still seems pretty old now, so... Um, yeah, and she had a baby. She had his baby. And her baby is Iris, who he told me has been raising this whole time. That's pretty nuts. Uh, and so... Uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Thank you for the 10 bits, Mitch. I appreciate it. Um, so we learned that... We, th we learned that uh, Iris has this brain disease has this brain disease, brain thing. I don't know, I don't know if you can call it a disease. Uh, thing, but it's gonna kill her eventually. And um, we think that the only way that can be healed is through nano machine technology, which is extremely expensive. And Hitomi and Iris do not have the money for that. So, Hitomi devises a plan to blackmail Sosajima, the current congressman, a congressman, and uh, presumably a lot of money. Right. Um, and so... So she shows Sosajima Monica's body. And Sosajima is very taken aback, right? Because this body he thought was uh, gone and just forgotten about for 18 years. 
has finally shown up. And that, I mean, that, that would shake me. That's pretty uh, shook him, all right? Pretty scary, pretty weird. And so now he want he feel like he uh, felt like he kind of needed to comply in a way, but um, but someone got a hold of Iris. We presume it was uh, we actually never solved that, did we? Hang on, I'm trying to think now. What happened at the end? The ending. We went. We arrived at a. Uh, we, oh, oh, the ending got not locked, so we didn't actually hit an end. Okay, that's right. So we go to the old chemical factory in Kawasaki District, where, and we find the sink machine that we found in the previous ending, in Iris' ending, and the, the, the prototype sink machine that requires you to use your left eye. Man, I'm not explaining this at all. I'm, not, I'm explaining this so poorly, so if you don't have context of the ending, none of my explanation is going to make sense anyway. So I apologize, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, we go there, and we see Renju. We see Renju, dead. Or, uh, I assume he's dead. It looked like he was dead, and without his left eye. So it seems like he used the sink machine, right? Uh, and then we get knocked out before we see more of that. We find Renju, and then we immediately get knocked out. We get lasered by Falco. Yeah. Falco knocks us out. The assassin number 80, or er, prisoner number 89. Who is Iris' uncle. So, well, we don't know what happens after that. But yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. I, I, I'm doing a poor job of explaining it, but it was spicy. And so now, now we have, so now we have, two, uh, we only had one locked route before. And that route got unlocked with this information. It's pretty exciting. So what happened in that route? Oh man, I don't even know if I can remember if I can tell you. So in that route, uh, that's the route both Ota and Iris are dead, right? Um, and we presume it seems like Sosajima is the the person inside the polar bear costume because of a different ending, right? So. Uh, and we know about the previous, the original Cyclops serial killing uh, instances. We know who the culprits are. We know that they are number, they are, we know that they are prisoner number 89. And we know that, that it was also uh, Rohan Kumakura. They were the original Cyclops killers. And we end that route in, you know what, maybe I could just load it up and show you again. I'm not really sure if I can. But, um, the route ends in, uh, in number 89's, okay, yeah, yeah, The route ends at prisoner number 89's Somnium, and in the Somnium, uh, he's just living in Hitomi's house because they were lovers, and, well, maybe not lovers, but they were dating, kind of, they were dating, and he's Iris' uncle. And then uh, Rohan wants to erase him because obviously he's kind of it's kind of dangerous to, for him to be left alive because uh, prisoner or the number eighty nine Falco he just kind of stopped working with the Yakuza. He's trying to like it seems like he's trying to turn his life around because of he. And Rohan it seems like he just finds him like a liability, right? He he wants to get rid of him. And so Rohan invades this home. Uh, Hitomi's house and goes with the intent to kill Falco and then Hitomi jumps in front and the bullet hits her shoulder and this is why she has a messed up shoulder this entire game and then we see something unexpected we see boss come in on the scene uh, I think she just yells basically stop and that's it what else do we have do I just do begin investigation here or do I do a reopen Reopen, right? I think it's re uh, Maybe it doesn't matter. Because. I think it in the curtain. What is it? I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, let's go back to that. You know what? Let's go back to this. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, how did I even forget? How did I forget that? Okay, so... Not here. We should be able to begin the investigation. We're gonna do a quick recap here. So, this ha is right after we see Boss in the Somnium of Prisoner Number 89. And we're going to, we want to go question her, because she seems suspicious. Or at least she knows information that we don't have. Where is she? So let's see what we find here. The somnium earlier was just like the dream I had th three days ago. What the hell is going on? What is going on? Hitomi was shot by Rohan Kumakura? Yes. To protect number 89? And there's another thing I can't figure out. Boss. I was boss there because it was a dream was it completely random no that can't be you can't dream of a face you've never seen number 89 must know boss somehow this is a serious secret boss is hiding it i have to search this room there must be a clue somewhere you know i feel pretty good about my re small recap episode though i did forget this critical detail here Iba. Can you hack this PC? I will try. It's a loading screen for hacking. Easy. Unlocked. <clears throat> Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. Now this is what the root ends with right here. Guys. We see so Sojima. Sojima. With his left eye out. Still alive. And that's where the route locks. <clears throat> Holy crap. What a what a what a way to end it, right? But no, there's more that we just unlocked, so I'm ready to see. Police headquarters. Tuesday, 12 19 a.m. I assume this is basically right after we saw everything. Guys. Oh, and okay. So Sejima. Looks like they're doing a recap episode. <sighs> Thanks, game. Recap the recap. So smart. Why? Why? Boss? I actually, I think that's good that they do that. What's going on here? Because I, if I didn't do that recap, then maybe. I mean, then they would have showed it normally, right? Why did Boss kill So? Boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. There's no way Boss is a Cyclops. It's not like the entire Cyclops, the new, the entire new Cyclops serial killer. It seems like. Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. Boss's alibi for Renji's murder. What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renji was killed? Similarly unknown. Boss's alibi for Iris and Ota's murder. Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. Where did she call from? She used a PC. <clears throat> huh. So I guess she could have used the streaming PC, right? Kind of weird. 
Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. Okay, so it was from the Abyss PC? I don't believe it. Boss? So, this is interesting, because we saw Sosajima was clearly the polar bear in a different ending. Now it might be boss, potentially. This murder is sponsored by Nord v VPN. Yes. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. So it does seem like the new Cyclops killer just kind of changes. Ota wasn't a target. It's starting right now where you are. You love this. You feel like it fits the mood of this game? I can see it. Morning, Bear. How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. How late did you stream last night? Back with coffee and a warm bagel. You're a warm bagel. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed. Identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Date, I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Uh-oh, where's she at? We have to go question where? her. She is now at the Sagan residence. <gasps> Oh no, is she gonna kill Hitomi? Because Iris is already dead, remember. Went to about 12.45? Okay, so not much later than when I left, I think. Nice. Where do you go back to work on Monday? Somewhere inside Hitomi's house. What? Alright, we're gonna rush there now, I assume. That is sad. But I hope you had a really great, uh, long time off. It was fun to see you streaming, start, uh, see you stream again. Tuesday at 1am, we're going to Hitomi's house. I drew my gun from its holster. I'm barged into the house. Hitomi! Hitomi! I called for her, but there is no reply. I didn't see boss either. I call boss's phone. On it. What is going on? Name Date, you were under arrest for murder. We're getting framed? What the hell? Drop your weapon. Comply. We're getting framed. Holy crap. What? Yeah, dude. Boss is. Dang it, boss. Boss. Dang. She got us. She got us good. Because he told me he must be dead. Cause who else would be who else would who would our mur the murder be? It'd be it'd have to be for Hitomi, right? Did you kill the five victims? No, no, let's ask where's Hitomi first. I don't know. She was gone when I got here. Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? <sighs> Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? Oh no. Is this true? That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Don't lie. Did you kill the five victims? Are you kidding me? You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. Shut up. Shut up. Stop lying! Uh-oh. Okay, so we have I bet we have video evidence of this. Why can't we use this? Fight. This is going nowhere. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Well then what can I do? Well, let me think. She's doing the calculations, dude. 
doing the math. Wait. Is a porn magazine not involved? Dante, what is that on the kitchen table? Could it be your favorite thing? Is it actually? I was gonna ask, could this not involve porn magazines? But let's be honest, we all knew it was gonna happen. What? It's the magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. Cooking magazine. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. Never mind. <laughs> All right, what button am I pressing? Okay. Whoa! Limited edition. The stuff of legends. All calculated. Bullet switching animation? Yep. Bringing the DVD back, right? It's important. Evidence. She is probably just unconscious. Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage, but she will live. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Classic. Never heard this before. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's have a look. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. Oh, I was right. I was I was right. Dang. Debated. Classic. Boss is still unconscious. Oh no. Are you guys worried? I'm a little worried. However, her brain waves are stable. Sinking with her shouldn't be an issue. Okay. <laughs> Boss is still unconscious. Yes. Date, talking to her would be pointless. You do know that, don't you? Why are you so cooperative? Because I know that the boss is my enemy. I got the video from Iba. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing. There are many you-know-whats. You recommend looking up a guide. Yep. Thanks, Kiro. Mistake. The boss shot and killed So Sejima after pulling out his left eye. That makes the odds of her being the culprit behind the other murders very high. Or maybe she had accomplices. Either way, she's a criminal. That's why I am cooperating with you, Special Agent Date. I want it as bad as you do. This one got brought up on that crash that a lot. Oh no. Okay. How's boss? She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. But her brain is perfectly healthy. You can sync with her. Where's number 89? I had him put back behind bars. 
Hold on to any one times I might get. Yeah, okay. Sure. That's right. I couldn't keep him here. I can see Peter to the Thinker's chair. The person sitting here doesn't sink. I had to sink with her. Asking questions would just be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine that she'd take kindly to an interrogation. Itsumi still hasn't been found. I have a bad feeling about this. But there's a good chance that boss knows where she is. How would I get that information? Getting into her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. Okay. Hello? Alright, let's go. Pewter, are the preparations done? Ready anytime. I know I don't have to sink out here, but I don't have to save out here, but let's get started. May as well. Like I'm worried that even on the way into the sink, into the into the Somnium I'll crash. I know. Six minute time limit. I'll be back before time's up. It's cause he cares, Dante. Well then, let's begin. Even though we know, we know Peter is kind of like, kind of bad. At least he's on Renji's side, at least. No, wait, but Renji's dead in this ending, so he probably wants to figure out everything as much as we do. Okay. Renji's not on the run or anything. Oh, this is a chemical plant. What are you doing, Iba? Time to loosen up. Do you always have to come in like that? It is of the utmost importance. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears to be an abandoned factory of some kind. Freaking Iba. <laughs> what could Boss be hiding here? No chances. I'm not gonna wait for this cutscene to end. Somnium scan. Activate. Okay. Shelves. Sinking in the refrain. Open the door to boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. Catch you up. What have you missed? When was the last time you were here, Avi? Was it Sunday? When we got Iris' ending? Or Monday. Monday we got Iris' ending. Okay, so Iris died in that ending, if you remember that. And then we did another ending, but we didn't, but it got, it locked us out because uh, we have to hit some other, we have to hit this path before we do that path. So it locked us out. But in that ending, uh, we figured out that the body we found, the one that looked like Iris, wasn't Iris. That was Monica EY, who was Hitomi and Renju's friend from high school her body's been frozen for 18 years and they've been keeping it in the cold storage warehouse i don't really know why they wanted to preserve the body because it's kind of weird right keep their friend in there but they both knew about it and uh iris was iris is just kind of delusional because she has a brain tumor so she's like believing random stuff about like knives at laws and that organization stuff uh she has a brain tumor and that's why she died in present day, it gave, yes. Okay, so it gave, okay, so that body did give, give Hitomi leverage against Sosajima, because we know, so, Monica Iwai was pregnant, and Iris is her daughter. 
So, the body we found in the cold storage warehouse was Iris's mother. Uh, it doesn't. I assume Iris doesn't know that, but yeah. And the father is Sosajima, which is a huge scandal. And um, because uh, and they think the only way to remove the brain tumor from Iris is to use nano machine technology. And he told me and Iris can't afford that at all. So he told me came up with a plan to um to use this body to blackmail Sosajima into paying for this surgery, basically, or to pay for this operation. And um yeah, so it's kind of crazy. Wow! All right, and so it begins. I'll continue the recap while we load this up again. <laughs> But, um, we ended that route, um, Iris got taken hostage, or maybe not hostage, but she got taken, she got kidnapped, we don't know where she went, uh, and we do know that, uh, when we got to the chemical plant, which is where we were supposed to meet them, them meaning Renju and number 89, presumably, which is, we did find them there. Renju was found dead with his left eye pulled out. We presume he used, we assume he used the prototype sync machine. And then number 89 knocked us out with the, with the pistol whip. Just hit us in the head. Alright, so I'm going to look this up, guys. Sorry. I'm going to look this up because, uh... Because I really don't want to deal with it. Sorry. It's just that's how it is. It's for the best, yeah. Yeah, and that that the the route that's locked now unlocked this one. And I don't remember, I'm not sure if you were here for this one, uh, Avi. Somnium scan. Activate. Also, good morning, B-Cops. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Hope your morning's going well, dude. Going well. Um. But this is, this. Let me show you. I know, sorry guys for disrupting the flow, but I want to catch everyone up as much as possible. This is the ending, and at the end of this ending, at the end of this route, we see, uh, we see a video of Boss killing Sosajima. And Iris, Ota, and Renju are all dead in this route. And, uh... And Hitomi might be dead. We arrive at the scene at Hitomi's house, and it seems like we got framed. Boss was framed. Boss literally... Killed this- Killed Sosajima. Because I'm gonna time you out again. I'm gonna skip this. I'm glad you're feeling better though. Sure. Oh dang it. Because I changed the uh, window size. Guide. Positions and stuff. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna speed run this, kind of, just so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, door D. Matt! What? Oh, that's door. That's door zero, right? <laughs> Come on, guide. A rusted metal door. Whoa, that's probably not the choice. It probably is door D. What? Hang on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, sorry. Okay, I messed up. It's this door that I need to open first. Okay. If anyone takes boss aside, I'm gonna time him out. She literally just shot Sosajima in the head. A rusted metal door. And she's trying to frame us. Break lock with pick. Break the lock with that. Roger. I will try. 
She did try and frame us. You missed it, B-Cops. She uh, tried to arrest us because we arrived at the scene at Hitomi's house. The boss is a bad guy. It seems like that. She's trying to arrest us. And this is her Somnium currently. It worked. All right, open it. Other than save often. Oh, thank you, Kira. Th Kira, thank you for uh, reminding me. I might have forgotten otherwise. Whoa! Guys, remember, this is boss Somnium. So either she saw someone kill Shoko, or she killed Shoko. Here. Car keys? Several keys have fallen. One of them must be the right one. I do not have time to try all of them. You know, you know the deal, guys. We're saving all the time. Hopefully, there's some kind of sign. Indeed. Open the first door. Oh, okay. Wow, that was wild. So already we start the Somnium, boss's Somnium, with something pretty spicy that she has information about Shoko's death. Whether she killed her or not, we don't know. Uh, door A. Where am I? Okay, I need to go to the southwest. You've got five minutes. Is... I wish I could orient myself better in here. Door A. That's door zero. I'm facing door zero. It should be to my right. Why can't I see it? It's up there! That's why. Okay. Oh, this is it. Okay. A door that looks like the anywhere door. There today is still lingering a bit. Probably will take, take more etc. Wow. Yeah, I hope you feel better, dude. I thought we couldn't trust Peter either. In this route, in this route, he's fine. Uh, he's probably still not to be trusted overall, but in this route, Renju is already dead, so he has no reason to not help us, um, cut, help us find the the new Cyclops killer. Because it seems like Renju was killed by the new Cyclops killer, and so it seems like we have common interests in finding that who that is. But yes, uh, Peter could not be trusted in the other ending, because Renju was still alive. So he was trying to like, uh, he's trying in any way possible to, uh, help him out. Oh, wow, that cut the times 10 timey for one second costs nothing. Thank goodness. Hmm? It appears to be locked. Oh, we did it for the timey. Okay. Apparently seems like anyway it's a key uh, I'm not gonna use the timer here the ice pick is next to this key I th okay I would have guessed this key originally anyways right it just makes sense because it has the ice pick in it it appears to be correct how can you tell that's what I said the tag is labeled a Oh, okay. I was right. Give me some credit. That must mean you can use this key for something labeled A. Come on. So we're you were using we opened A to use the times ten timey. Interesting that the guide really. It seems like the guide is gonna stress on saving time. A door that looks like the anywhere door. Okay, gonna open. Perhaps we can use the key I just picked up. Yeah, try that. I forgot. I need to. I need to. I, I was, I'm worried. It opened. Isn't 
this the third floor? What is going on here? Looks like the floors are connected in a weird way. What is going on here? Okay. Wow, this is a crazy Somnium. It's gonna be hard. Where am I at? Okay. I need to go here. I need to cross the way and go south. How do I cross? How do I cross? It seems like this one would be really hard. So I feel kind of bad about using a guide, but you guys know the deal. Had to reroute it a few times to have enough time. Yeah, I bet. A door with B written on it. Uh, we're opening it, I guess. It does not appear to be locked. This is the second floor, but it is clearly not the door I just opened. What do you mean? As in door A or door B? It's like a maze. I have to remember what door goes where. Jeez. Unfortunately, I feel like I am not solving this. I'm actually not truly solving this, right? Which is kind of unfortunate, but... I don't have any other option for doors except door C here, though. So I would do this normally. Door C. And probably still open it. It doesn't appear to be locked. This thumbnail would be so hard. There's so many options. Oh, we're on the second floor again. We leave the second floor and come right back to it. This is confusing. Somnium's real plot detail in such an abstract way, and they explain all of it immediately after, so it doesn't really matter. That's true. That's true. That's I'm very grateful for that. X5. I need to open door E. Then you cross the way. How do I cross? Come up here. That's door E prime. I'll go to door E. Door E. Man, this one would be so hard. I can't even looking at the guide, there's so many steps. An oil drum hung with wire. I try and save time here. I mean, here. There's six seconds. Maybe the six seconds will matter. Oh. Oh. Discovering and reacting to the plots up in the Somnius as you hit is pretty pog, though. Oh, I bet. Check that yeah, door. that makes sense. Try to hold into those what two one timings. All right. A rusted metal door. Like for this? <laughs> it does not appear to be locked. Is this not suspicious? His watch. This again. So we can't just grab one. We have to be careful. Uh. 
It says to open door E again. That's where we were before. It doesn't even say E prime, it just says... I'm gonna listen to it, but... Door E. This, this Somnium would seriously be so hard without this guide. Oh my gosh. I didn't imagine. You have three minutes, Dante. Okay. Not a bad, not a bad first run. We're not going to count the first one as a first run. This was our real first run. We knew, we knew. That was a hand, that was a warm, just hand warmers, yes. Boss is so suspicious right now though. You know what, everyone in this game is guilty, except Mizuki. Alright, where did I save? Did I save before or after door 2? After Renji's door. If Mizuki was a murder, everyone would be dead already? That's true. Guess you should check that door. Okay, yeah, so we need to check Renji's door. A rusted metal door. It does not appear to be locked. I need to turn this on. We need to be able to skip unseen content. We can't even skip this. Oh shoot. It's been so long since we've seen Kagami. That's true. Too long. So we can't just grab one. All right, we're gonna save after that cutscene. <laughs> Open door E. Door E. Oh, we only use this for the timing, I bet. You have three minutes, Dante. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Then we pick up the uh, eight o'clock key. I'm not sure I would have solved this. It's a key with a watch beside it. Or maybe I, maybe if the other ones don't have a watch, the then I find it. Is this the correct answer? Saturday night at eight matches Renju's estimated time of death. Okay. D is written on the tab. Let's go, Date. Well, at least that's pretty clear. I can solve this one. The D door. D door. I probably don't want to use this because I'm not getting a timing out of it, so. The D door. I will try the key. Yeah, try it. It opened. Nice. Frozen door. door two. So that must. That door must be indicative or represent the cold storage warehouse. 
it seems like. A broken pipe. Steam is leaking out. Uh, we need to kick this. Mark. Oh, it's just as I calculated. Easy calculation. You were surprised, admit it. <laughs> door three. Rusted metal door. Most of the ice is gone now. I think I can open this door. Yep, I was right about the cold storage warehouse. But she probably watched the stream of this, so she might have just watched this one. This key has control panel written on the tag. Control panel? The one right there? Okay. Well, at least they're making like the puzzle fairly obvious. I don't feel like I'm missing out on too much here. Rows of monitors and buttons. I need to use the ten the I mean, the bad time I'd investigate. This appears to be old. I believe this computer controls the factory's electronics. It appears to require a key to activate. How convenient. We have a key. Buttons. I want to save four seconds. Nah, I don't. Rows of monitors and buttons. There. Sorry, I've been reading texts from my parents about when to Zoom call with my dad. And I can't decide on the time. If we move the scaffold, a new route appears. Right, well. it, it was a good run. At this pace, we'll be done pretty soon, guys. We see so much interesting stuff in this Somnium, though. And I have been saving so often, which is really good for this. It's been, I haven't been forgetting. Like, for all we know, what if Boss actually isn't one of the... isn't the person, right? She just saw all this happen, but didn't actually convict anyone or arrest anyone for whatever reason. She's still guilty of that, at least. Rows of monitors and buttons. Rows of monitors and buttons. All right, insert key. There. Oh. So. Monitors turned on. Okay. I see. If we move the scaffold, a new route appears. Okay, let's move it. Interesting. Okay. Rows of monitors and buttons. Uh, I need to rotate the key. Uh. Whoa! What the? Okay. Shrunk. Rows of monitors and buttons. Press switch. I'm not cheating or anything. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Interesting. I see. Rows of monitors and buttons. Rows of monitors and buttons, huh? Genius! It extended. Now we can use the route to door B. Okay. I think I just need to open the B prime door. Okay. A save here. Here you go, D prime. Door D prime. We will use a one third time. It's interesting how this Somnium works compared to some of the other ones. I like how they do it. Less than two minutes. Hurry. Where some Somniums you have tons of steps, but each step is like worth nothing. And some Somniums like you have very few steps, but all the each step is very, very expensive. Very interesting stuff. D prime. Where is this? Other side. Okay. How can I get to the other side? Prime is up. Door C prime. I think this this summon will be really hard for me otherwise. Uh do I use one? Save nine seconds. I think it's worth. Alright, now we have B prime. Door B prime. B e prime. Yes, that's me. And door F kick open. Other side. And I have I made the path. We're so close, guys. So close. So close. We're 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 so close. We can do it. Man, does man it hurts the game. It hurts the game so much though. It hurts the flow, you know. It's just, it's it's just so annoying. My immersion. Why does it keep crashing? Because the game is bad, actually. The game's really good up until these moments, until the Somniums. Then all of a sudden it becomes really spaghetti. At least the Steam version. I think they have, they'd have patched it. I guess they're just too lazy, honestly. Like, I don't know. What? I'm all the way back here? Holy crap. It destroyed me. Door D. Did I say seconds to seven seconds here? Probably doesn't matter that much. Uh you D. Have less than two minutes. That was D Hurry. prime. Now I need C prime. <laughs> On the other side, okay. Door C. Okay. We're saving again. B prime. 
Dorby Prime. Another one here. All right, we're gonna try and save our timings. For now. We're gonna try and save the timings now. So our F Prime. The other side. Woo! Good thing we just saved. We got the save off though. This is pretty much the exact same time that it crashed the last time though. So. Man, game. Why? Brutal. It really is brutal. And I, I'm too lazy to figure out what to do off stream because it's like it's not consistent, which is really annoying. If it were consistent, I'd be more willing to do it. But some, like some Somniums, just haven't been crashing. Like the Somnium we did last, that we ended the night with last night, didn't crash at all. The cinematic crashing should have been caught before it ever hit the platform. It probably just depends on the GPU, the video card. And if they didn't test with that exact one, then maybe they just missed it. F prime. I think this is F prime. I didn't actually check if there's F or F prime. This is door F. Almost. Almost got me, game. But where's F prime? Oh wait. Just F. Okay, just kidding. Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Alright, if this uh if the, if this crashes, I just need to I need to span I need to see some F's in the chat. Kick open. Uh we will use a nine one ninth here. We'll use a one ninth here. <laughs> the ones that crash are the ones that tend to use more complex graphics. Gotcha. The first floor. This is the first time we've been here. Right, not actually. I gotcha. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. So, I'm gonna save here real quick. So, okay, so who are the last people that died? Oh no! If this this door might contain Hitomi, right? Hitomi's death? Oh no, that would be devastating. I don't want Hitomi to die. Ladder 1F. We have to tackle this. An iron ladder. Yeah, I guess I'm using my one timey here. Oh no. If I if I did, oh yeah, or so. Oh yeah, you're right, hero. That's true. Or shoot, did I did I need to save one more timey? Ready? We'll see. Yo, Dominos. is awfully dangerous hey that door maybe we can open that one now check it out it, lo it lost the bars oh no I don't think I can open it a rusted metal door oh wait, I think I can I think this is the last thing I'm going to open it actually is the last one you should be but yeah it's expensive. and you're right Kara this is so nice good call All right, we finished it out. Good job, team. The world record. Let me close out the guide. That's... Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. Why? I'm not sure I understand.
So it's shown. So we show a blue person on these, but in Sosajimas, we actually see Boss herself. This is Iris. Yup. This is Sosajima. And this means Boss is gonna die next. So this is interesting. Boss isn't innocent, obviously. She just killed Sosajima. What the hell is going on? So Boss is the next target. Who is going to kill her, though? Itomi is the one that's going to kill Boss? Wait, what? Date, what are you doing? Six minutes are up. Wait. Wait, Hitomi is... Date, you can't go any longer! Floor shut down! No! No, I... Yeah, yes, this is correct. This is a correct decision, Peter. I respect it. Oh my gosh. I thought it just froze again, because they definitely had a frame drop there. A few frames drop. Wow. So we were right about this so far. That, uh... I kind of guessed that that was a possibility, right? Because we think about it, we know that Renju ate Shoko's eye. So it's possible that he was the killer of Shoko. We don't really know why Iris killed Renju or anything. But we do know Sosajima killed Iris. And we know Boss killed So. Wait, who did, I, who did I say killed Iris? So killed Iris. So killed Iris. Boss killed So. So we knew, we thought that there might have been some kind of chain of events, right? But we're not sure why. I took a look around your head, and I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami. And Ota was just kind of like, an unfortunate case. <laughs> he was never a target. Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and Sosajima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But, that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. What? One person, and that person is... It's you, right? No? I'm... hang on. It's so. Alright, if we trust boss, then so is the culprit. If we don't trust boss, it's boss that who's the culprit. We're gonna trust boss though. No, it isn't. Okay. Alright, it, it, it. Yes. You. Alright, well, we were correct not to trust you then. Rip. The person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Dang. Can you at least try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. Oh, duh. We knew this. Why didn't I put this together? I'm an idiot. I should have known all of this. We knew this. 
I haven't, I'm an idiot for not even considering that this was an option. We, are, they, we talked about it and everything. We knew. So, okay, so Shoko, so Renju killed Shoko. The killer's in Renju's body. Then Iris and Renji switch consciousness. And Iris is in Iris is in Renji's body. The killer's in Iris's body. Then Iris and Sosajima. Sosajima's in Iris's body. Boss is innocent. Not really, right? Not technically? I don't really know. I'm gonna time you out though, cause you're annoying me. Okay. Let me have a little. I believe you had all of the fun, dude. You've been having a lot of fun. I keep telling you to stop. <laughs> In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Right. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. But this wasn't explained in this route. Not entirely, only partially. So does that mean Date has Date can he has reading Steiner? I don't know where it started, but at some point you got into Shoko's brain. Then you got into Renju's and got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. Right. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold storage warehouse. Right. Wait, Avi, you know what reading Steiner is? You seen Stein's Gate? I didn't even know you've seen that. Now, you're in Boss's body, inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. And who is she? Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. That's a pog, Avi. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Is it Mizuki? No way, it's Mizuki, right? It's probably a character we know. It, what, it might be Falco, right? Rohan? It could be Rohan. No way, it's Mama. It's not Mama. Who is inside Iris during the interrogation on Sunday? That was Iris, right? That was me. What? No. You imitate her well. She does imitate Iris well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier, too. Almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yeah, no, it had to have been her. This per this culprit inside Iris earlier, because Renju was already dead. We were questioning Iris about Renju's death. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. Okay. The one transferring is the parasite. The one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Yes. 
Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. Right. That's what we suspect. That's kind of what I suspected. That she, this person, still has some of Boss's memories. About one percent remains in the brain. Well, that's enough. One percent's a lot for memory. Ever. So, a parasite could use that one percent to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. Man, you could get really unlucky with the 1% though, right? <laughs> uh, should I keep asking her that? The same thing? I'm telling you. It was me. Oh, gosh. Why are you freaking out like that? Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. What happened in that Somnium again? That was... Oh, no wonder! That makes so much sense. That the person... When we viewed Iris' Somnium, it had all the victims. The freaky TV... Yes, yes. There was a chemical plant one. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense. And so, hang on. But we also had the original Cyclops killings. So this could be Rohan. It's either Rohan or Prisoner 89, right? Probably. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? And something else is troubling me. Alright, when did this happen again? I don't remember. Blue figure with Dante's face. What's going on here? Date was one of them? Wait, who? Date lost his memory six years ago because he used the plant six years ago. Someone... Is the original Date dead? No. The original Saito Sejima is Date. Goes without saying, but no confirming denying these rhetorical questions. Big moment. So, hang on. I have to keep talking. So, no, no, no. Broken glass bit was the end of this thing's Somnium. Right. So, Dante was the one who killed this person. No? Wait. Hang on. Saito Sejima. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm so... I feel like I'm on the cusp. There's something I want to hear from you. I feel like I'm on the cusp of something. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? And not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Right. I suppose so. I'm wondering if, like, the other route was... If they're actually different... Not timelines, but... Completely different times. As in, like, the other route was, like, in the past or something. That'd be insane. That wouldn't make any sense to me, though. Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Coke? Coke? Ah. Cook, right? Cook curve? Your Pinsky. Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. 
That is what he is explaining. We don't know it's a he. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory. Is that right? No, not it. Parallel worlds exist. We. This is just a parallel world. It's literally a parallel world then. She wasn't wrong. We're going into other... The other routes. Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Sejima. And that used to be me. I used to be Saito Sejima. Congressman Sejima's son. I think. Who we like it? Alright, sounds good, dude. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. The so Dante was the original Cyclops killer? Wait, is that true? I'm trying to consider here. Hang on. So. Dante might be the first victim of the abyss of no of the sync machine prototype, which means he would have had his. Maybe I'm confused too, Avi, but uh, maybe Dante is the first victim of the memory switch. Which case, no, that's not right. Dante is just a survivor, right? He was meant to be a target. Alright, we're just gonna keep talking. Fine. I still have time. Time? You'll see. What does that mean? So, where do you want me to start? Just past midnight on Tuesday. Yoko was killed on Friday. You think of that as day one. Today is day five. What was Saito doing those days? I decided to ask him. All right, let's start on the earliest day. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. Right. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. Wait, so that means when they were killed, when Shoko was killed, Renju was already missing his left eye, right? Because he need you need you need to have your left eye out in order to use the sync machine, the the sync machine prototype. So Renju already had his left eye pulled out, and then when he synced with Iris again, his left eye was already gone from the first sync. Seems like. Maybe it's irrelevant, but maybe something to note about. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. So who's in Shoko? Did the, did the personalities actually switch? Or does... It actually just take over Renju. Seems like it actually switches, so Renju's personality was actually killed in Shoko. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. This all checks out so far. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Mizuki, Daddy caught up and got caught up in something serious. Then I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Day two. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, 
So I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. Hmm. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Mm -mm. Oops. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. Wait, so... Maybe... The sinking with her? Who's the subject? And who's the sinker? The subject is Iris. The sinker is Renju. So does the subject not need their eye taken out? Because Iris clearly had her eye in that cutscene. Hmm. Confused. Okay. I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. Okay. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. Guess I'll have to keep going! <laughs> okay. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. The watch? Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. Oh, it's Ota. That's a sinker, right? Otherwise, you'd need to take the eye out every time you do a Somnium. Well, I mean, well, once you do the, once you take the eye out, it's already out. So, I mean, you wouldn't, you'd only have to do it the first time. Then the next times, it's already out. It's like, I don't know. Sinker, not the sink. The sinker was. Renju, the Sinki was Iris. But Iris still had her eye. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it does seem like just a sink but but Renju also still had his eye when he was killing Shoko. And Shoko would have been the sinker in the I don't know, hang on. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. It was Ota. Right, it was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him. But I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. What it? So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. I don't really like how she's talking. It's kind of annoying. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. Right. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Day three. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. For Iris. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Hmm. 
Then you sinked into my mind. This was so interesting. Her somnium. So, alright, what does Date have to do with this so far? I still don't know. We don't, we still don't really know, right? But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. Got a lot of other stuff, though. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. What happened here? I don't really remember. Thank God for the recap episode. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. Hmm. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. So in this one... His parents' house... The parents' house where he used to live, meaning Sejima's house. That's why they stopped at Sejima's- Saito stopped at Sejima's house. Not as Iris, but as Sejima. Yes. The Sejima residence. Right. Mm, of course I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, father. It's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom, and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. What? I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. What? I'm... Wait, why would Sosajima do this? This seems out of character. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed, and got into the van with me. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50 p.m., by the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. That's your father, dude. Uh, do I go to continue or day four? I guess we do day four because there's a new isn't day. much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one, Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. Two shared a terrible secret. Yes. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. We do know that. That Sosajima has some stuff on the police. I injected her with a sedative. Do we know what that is yet? Did we ever figure that out? Not yet? Then brought her body to the chemical plant. I synced with her. Exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. And we did see that. I stuffed the meat into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Wait, what house is she in right now? It doesn't say where she... He didn't say where they were, or she. I don't know. Saito didn't say where they were when this ha when when he killed Sosajima. But we presume it's in So's house, right? Because that's where we found Sosajima's cut up body. But then this makes sense. Then this sounds weird that I drove back to my house, unless he means Boss's house. But he's like been con then he switches context between like perspective. Because usually he uses like the target versus Saito. Like, he uses first person for Saito and then third person for This was yesterday, early Monday morning. Past midnight. 
Okay. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. I should have had her continue about Iris's. Oops. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Alright, so why does Sacha Sejima know about this, the cold storage warehouse? That's something else we need, cause... Oh, because he keeps gaining memories from other people. Of course. I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end. And I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. Didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. I just spoke with Grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. I wonder what Peter said, thinks about all this. Where's Peter? Why not? Uh. Why did you take out your victim's eyes? This is. You don't think they ever say it directly, but so is probably drawn to Iris by her resemblance to Monica. I thought that that was a possibility as well. You know all about the prototype sync machine, don't you? Yes. That should explain it. Ew. The prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Inner cables from the sync gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. They then travel down the optic nerve now to the brain. But the prototype sync machine isn't so advanced. They perform a sync. Need to remove the left eye manually. Subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket. All right, so we get our answer. So what? Huh. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve. And blood vessels connected. So we can actually just put it back in. Wow. And we did hint on this earlier, right? We talked about that. You could just like put the eyeball back in. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. Supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged some. Placing the eyeball isn't too difficult. Oh lord! I don't really it care really about is. Eyes. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. You know, I feel like this would have been way harder to figure out who the culprit was if they just left the eye. Is there a reason why it's always the left eye? No, pro probably not a real reason. It, it, it probably, in theory, would work for the right eye as well, like the sink machine, but maybe it's like how the gear, they probably just made it the gear. I don't know. Like, this is how, yeah. Probably no particular reason. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's what I'm wondering. That's obvious. Tell me. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? Is it hard? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. The body? 
Yes. What are the eyeballs that you removed? A corpse of the next Chuck person. Chuckos is in Renju. Renju's is in Iris's. Right? Renju's is in Iris. Right? Yep. Iris's is in Dad. <laughs> Dad. Dad's is in Boss. Like, currently? That's disgusting. Oh, no, Jordan. Oh. Oh. Please. <laughs> Please. That's so gross. Like... When did... When did... Saito eat it as boss? Like... Does Saito... Did, does Saito eat the eye while he's, like, still alive? I thought maybe he killed the victim. And then... Like, he killed Renju and then put the the eye in there. But I guess it wouldn't digest in that case, because he wouldn't be able to swallow it if he's already dead. So interesting. Their stomachs, I mean. Yes, thank you. You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. That's so nasty. How horrible. Like, it's straight up? Okay, it doesn't matter if it's straight up or not, but... What's your motive? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? With a little mayo. <laughs> of course, it was also necessary. A little cane sure sauce. Their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. Right. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against me. All right, so this is interesting here. It's personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. Okay, yeah. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. Oh no, I lost the other options. Wait, was, I had other options, right? Bear, thank you so much for the four months. You're subscribing at the hype moments. All this, all these reveals, it's nuts. It's crazy. I appreciate it so much, though. Thank you. Revenge against this me? This series of murders was like a journey for me. You know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? I don't know. Home? You are home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. You've been playing while playing. You've been listening while playing Peggle on Xbox. Track. What? It doesn't even. If you're getting the achievements for him, it's not. It doesn't even count, Bear. Sorry, Sorry to him. He's cheating. When I return home. My travels will come to an end. Well, he so I am Saito Sejima. That is me. And I'm the one who killed Monica. So I'll be needing it back. My body. What? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. So what happened here? We, we, we need to figure out what happened... Like, who is inside Date now? What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You mean? He was born with a brain dysfunction. Saito? That's who we're referring to, I guess? Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Who are we talking about here again? This is... Someone was... Was it Rohan? 
or Falco. Someone was unable to feel happiness unless he was like killing someone. Unless he was killing people, right? Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? I was right about this, I think. Body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. No way. Do we know Iba did that for us? No, we didn't know that, because otherwise it'd just you be too obvious. Your dosage too much. Oh. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89. The original Cyclops killer. And so we switched with number 89? Saito switched with number 89 originally? That is what I believed as well. But we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Assumed it was an 89. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently imprisoned. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. Wait, hang on. I'm confused now. This is weird. Rohan's dead. Oh. Nope. That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Oh, right. Okay. So we're not. Okay. So we're talking about personalities not actual the Rohan's body is dead so number 89 is with me is Dante that, no I can't be right Pewter must have known that no way I was confused. I didn't understand any of it. I still don't. I'm still. I'm still confused. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before Boss? So Sejima. Yes. And before So? Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. And before that, Shoko. And then what? And then what? And before Shoko. Whose body were you in before Shoko? Who died before Shoko? Has he been in Shoko's body for a year? Rohan Kumakura died, committed suicide a year ago. No. No, cause he can't commit suicide. That's just not how it work. Unless Shoko is the one who committed suicide in Rohan's body. But Saito cannot commit suicide in someone's body without him losing himself. Okay, let's keep going. I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Okay. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and Why? immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. Why did he remember everything? Just because eventually he pieced it all together? From the fragments? Yes? I got her body. And she was in Rohan's. And she committed suicide. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... 
So I was right about what I just talked about. That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. Really? Shoko? Shoko, like... We only met a couple times, at most. Two times, I think. That's why I know everything about you. Who were you before Rohan? Hang on. Number 89. And then before that, Saito Tsujima. In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull, my personality lived there. Really? So... Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. So, I'm Rohan? Not necessarily. I am whoever was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. I'm 89. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. Right, okay. Okay, so I, I got the sequence of events wrong, but I think I'm still kind of correct. In other words... And so, when number 89, who is, who is, hang on, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of the sequence of events. So I switch, so the first was me, me Saito Tsujima, switching with, switching with, no, the first switch was 89 and Rohan, as far as we know. We're going to just say that those are the first switches. So 89 was in Rohan. Rohan was in 89. And then I switched with Rohan. I switched with Rohan. So now 89's in me. Rohan's in 89. Saito Tsujima's in Rohan. Yes, this makes sense. So the one I questioned, I did a Somnium for 89. That was Rohan's? That was Rohan's subconscious? Yes. Okay. That's gets so hard to keep st I know! I real? And that's why I felt like I think we like felt things when Falco was talking about a story. Did Rohan know that that was me? Like, did Rohan when we no, not Rohan. All right, we're gonna use their body's name, not their personality name. I think I don't know. Is that more or less confusing? But we, but when we interrogated number 89, when, when we interrogated number 89, he told us about Falco. Did he know that Date, me, that I am 89? Keep talking. It's crazy. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Why? Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! What? Hang on. 
How did we let this happen? Oh, okay, no. I thought I thought our interrogation was streaming live. It's like, wait, how'd that happen? Damn you! So now we... It's confirmed that we have attachment to Hitomi, because we are number 89. And so we don't want her to die, obviously. Even as Dante, we wouldn't want her to die, but now maybe even more so. If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Dang, 200 IQ. Computer, contact headquarters, now! Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Wow, that was wild. That's so much, uh... What's the word for dialogue again? Uh... I don't remember. That was a lot of it, though. Do we do it? Bam, what do we do? Exposition? Yes, I think so. I think that was what I was thinking. That was a lot of exposition, but it's good exposition, right? What do we do here? Does it matter? I won't do it. Dante, I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? I just wanted to see what would happen. I probably would actually do it. At least here. Dante! See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well. Don't I, Dante? Actually, what if I continually don't? What if I continually refuse? Curious. We're gonna end up saying yes. Because that's probably how you just progress the game. I said, yeah, I just said beforehand, so let's just check what happens if we continuously refuse here. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time recapping this next stream. Doctor. I'm Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold hearted. You want to see what will happen when her flesh burns and tears and scatters? If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? I didn't agree. No matter how many times he demanded it, no matter how many times he demanded it of me, I refused again and again. When I saw it, I understood. Theoretically, though, that should be the last victim, right? If we just lock this person up forever. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Ooh. He killed me? Okay. Alright, well, we got an ending. I killed boss. Oh. Sorry. That makes more sense from what he said. That boss's body was rolled in the room. Uh, honestly, that's probably a pretty good ending, though, right? Like, that's kind of what we want. We definitely wanted that to happen. Oh my gosh. How far back are we? This 
just let you say but then I lose the bad end, cat. Then it doesn't say then it, it doesn't say I got the bad end. I don't know if that's important, but I wanna have as many endings as I can. <laughs> this is actually forever ago though, holy crap. Bench? Think you did the exact thing. You remember having to go through this again? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't. It's not a bit huge deal if I just reload, but I kind of want the ending. Alright, we'll save again. So this is the section where the switch is broke because all those flashbacks. Dang. Yeah, that were a lot of flashbacks. I'll do it. Dante. See, I knew you wouldn't refuse. Well, you were wrong because I already refused. I know you well. Don't you remember Don't the bad end die. where I killed you? We don't actually have to... <laughs> so now 89 is in I boss. Did I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised boss's house however it might be too late by now now what is I Iba's gonna do something right what Iba doesn't agree to this Iba does not like Saito I presume she still died why return my body and I'll tell you the location that's that, what I said that was the deal I didn't lie I kept my promise. You bastard! Uh, oh, you're she... the one who injured. injured that body. That's true. It's your own fault, really. Damn it! Be seeing you. I was gonna do something. Told you. Let's go, Iva. The real hero. Dante, are you alright? Abba's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy. A heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was closing up, and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood in my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Joko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi? Boss? The flesh remains. The mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Is this another bad end? Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. Words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who, or where, or why. But I thought that there really was such a world. And me. And that world. I is another. Okay. Could I have had a better future. This is the choice of Stein's Gate. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into the black abyss. Another bad end? 
No, it's just a, it's just an end. Which means, oh my gosh, we're only two hours in though. All right, let's talk about this. So we realize that B cops was right all along, and boss is actually innocent. From what we can tell. It is the worst end. It was the- it is the worst end. But holy crap! You know, okay, actually I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna spoil Steins Gate much. Or at all, I guess, but... Sometimes... Never mind. okay. Holy crap though. There's so much stuff just happened. Actually not that much happened at all. All we really did was interrogate boss. That was like the entire ending. Compared to from when we locked out, right? Well, we did do quite a bit of the ending before this, right? Where Ota was dead, Iris was killed, things like that. There's so much information. I'm a little overloaded. So now, how can we use this information to help us out? Because we already know everything. We know so much now. I, uh, Renju, Renju. So in the other, let's, let's think about the other ending. Renju and 89 are on the run. Renju's dead. No, Renju just died. And the ending... Am I gonna keep going, though? Should I? Yes or no? Yes. Oh. B-Cops, I'll never time that again. I'm sorry. I just... I just... Oh, man. All this stuff going on. Oh, it's good. It's good. Do it. Um. Okay. So, guys. All right. Let me. Let me. Um. Do you guys think I can finish in an hour and a half? I have to leave in an hour and a half, guaranteed. I have a Zoom call with my uh with my dad. And if we don't finish today, guys, we'll just have to finish tomorrow. I, I cannot miss the Zoom call with my dad. What if I just stream the Zoom call with my dad? <laughs> stream the Zoom call with my dad and then just continue the game after. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. Really weird, actually. No. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Explain the entire game to <laughs> I'm playing on the Zoom call. Oh, man. I feel like anyone can enjoy this game. If they are, like, into mysteries at all, you know. Annihilation roots and rip. Rip. And not everyone's annihilated. Oh, my God. Yes, I would like to save. And we... Oh my gosh. And that and the only route we have left is unlocked. <laughs> Who is that, B cops? <laughs> I know it was a random Thank you so much for the uh thank you so much for the gift sub, but I don't even know who that is. Do they even follow me? Are they wa oh, they're watching right now. What if they're a bot? I don't know. Maybe they're not a bot. But I don't know who that is. Thank you so much for the gift sub, though. It's not short, so you can do all of this tomorrow. I'll play something else for a while. <laughs> 